When my condition came upon me, I had no idea what it was. So we were in Wyoming, and uh, I attributed my uncomfort or discomfort to the altitude. I didn't feel good. I was slow, and uh, it was all, I wasn't paying attention. The high pulse got my attention, and my wife got my attention to get on the airplane and go home. We came back to Boca. I saw my cardiologist. He said, I've got good news and bad news. What you have is arrhythmia. That's the bad news. The good news is it can be corrected. I, I was shocked. I, I thought I was just kind of, you know, out of shape and tired from sleepless nights with a young child. And I, I did kind of ignore it for a while. My heart was beating so fast. My heart rate got up to 230. And I actually thought I was going to die. And then I received a successful ablation in December. So only it's only been a few months and I feel fantastic. Fantastic. Never felt that. Morty and I have shared a lot of good times and a lot of good things. We've also shared cardiac surgeons. <laughs> Exactly. At least we went through it together. It was wonderful to, to have his support and our family's support. When I think of my dad, I think of travel. And, I, and it goes beyond that because he's so, um, he's so active. I can't keep up with him. I can't. I wish I had your energy. <laughs> I wish I had yours. We have a 50 year age difference. But as you can see, it doesn't discriminate by age. It can affect anybody, and I strongly urge anybody having the symptoms to act right away. The association serves a wonderful purpose. It's educational, and uh, it sponsors research. And th those are the two facets. Teach the people and cure them. The American Heart Association is extremely wonderful and educating the public about what warning signs that you should be aware of. I'm Morgan Green. I'm Lou Green. And living life is our why.